You're right, guys. Gmanism here, and I'm back again with another squad review. And basically, I haven't been doing videos the past two days because I'm sure it's Thursday. Yeah, I got in on Thursday, and you know, I didn't have anything to review. I have no coins, like, and I don't want to sell my teams just to make videos. So I'm going to keep trading for a bit and try and build up quite a large sum of coins and then start making more videos. But yeah, um, these squad reviews are just basically just, just to get something out there just so I can talk to you guys or keep myself active or just have something to do really. Because when I do get a Roxio, which is a basically the shite version of a HDV VR, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of squad reviews still, but I'm going to be adding all the goals in that I do and stuff like that. And I'm going to be doing like goals compilations and all the good stuff. But I'll probably still be getting a video out a day, or might just cut it down to every two days. I don't know. It depends what's happening really. But first day I got in and I just felt like shit. I just couldn't be bothered. I thought oh, I'm just going to play FIFA. Then yesterday, which was Friday, I had a party at like 6 o'clock, so I got in, played FIFA for like 2 hours, then went out all night and I got in today and I feel like shit, like I've slept all day. But yeah, I thought I'd still make a video just for something to do, so this is a team of my friend who is called Cami HD. He um, does quite good videos, you know. I'll leave his channel in the description. You sh if you haven't seen him, I'm, you probably have because he's got me in his sub box, and most of you are probably from his channel. But if you haven't seen him, then I would say go and subscribe to him. You know, even one or two of you that subscribe, that's still a help because it's you know you might be active on his channel, you might enjoy them. You never know. Um, but I think he's uploading a video today or tomorrow. So yeah. But here we have an MLS silver team, and we have Cummings, which is a Jamaican tank. Uh, he's got him playing as striker. He's about five foot eleven, I believe, and I think maybe we're just reaching six foot. Four point seven k for a great player, eighty seven pace. He's for, he's a nerd basically. Like when you have this player, it's basically like having a long haul but silver. He says he has eighty seven pace, but he's so fast and he's strong and his finishing is amazing. Next we have Epco. Um, He's actually a cam, so he comes in cam, this hasn't been changed, and he has 86 pace, which I think is amazing, and I'm sure he goes a really, you know, 4.2k, k doesn't go for that cheap, but, you know, if you have that amount of coins, then it's kind of cheap to you. The Guzman, 81 pace, centre attacking mid, quite small, as you can see, 4.5k, right footed, um, I don't really like really fast centre attacking mids, I'll, 81 pace, you know, that's what I would like, but I prefer the skills and dribbling and shooting compared to pace, but this team is called the Speed Demons, so it's basically all the fastest plays you can get in each position. Next, we have Richards, who is also Jamaican, if I am correct, yep, Jamaican. Um, he kind of small, but he storms that right wing, 4.5k, 93 pace. 66 shooting, his shooting isn't amazing, um, but he's an amazing player really. It's like, it's, if you need a like, player to storm the wing in the MLS, he's going to be the player. Next we have Zakuani. Now, I used to love this guy because I had an MLS team. 5k, he, look, wait, how tall was he again? There you go, about 6 foot 1. He's fairly tall, and the tall players have amazing shots. This guy probably has the best shots in the whole of this team, personally. Um, I think he's probably got the best shots for silver MLS players because he's tall and he's just, I don't know why, but 64 shooting just doesn't seem like that's it. It's, he's, every time he gets like outside the box, it screams in the top of the net and with that 92 pace and he's, he has good strength and dribbling, it's easy to get around players really and get a shot in the box and in the net. Um, I don't think he has good finesse shots, but he's your man if you like to do the power shots. Next we have Alonso, uh, centre mid, 82 pace, you know, he's kind of, I think that should be a CDM really, not not the, the player, but this position in the formation kind of looks like a CDM more than a centre mid, but you know, Alonso, kind of a beast of a player, he looks 82 pace for a centre mid, it's quite fast. Next we have Benitez, 83 pace, I trade with this guy quite a lot because he's so cheap. You can literally pick them up for about 300 coins, and I normally sell them on for about 700 to 800 
but as you can see it's picked him up for 450 here basically got any left back quick not really strong but he does the job next we have inform Anibaba um, I've heard many things about this guy and he is really good uh, for his price 29k for a silver and inform centre back normally they're really expensive as you can see he has all round 70 stats for defending there 74 pace 71 defending 74 heading they're really good stats for just an informed defender personally but next we have big boy win who is the fastest centre back on the game that is regular um, yeah 22k I picked mine up for a while ago for about 25 I don't use him anymore though because he's such a pace hole and he's just too good really it's like when you play with this MLS team and you come up at least two and a half stars if you come up against like really low rated silver teams and you're just going to destroy them or maybe even might come up against bronze teams and it's just literally the easiest game going but when 96 pace I think he's just reaching yeah about 5 foot 10 um, he's quite strong he's really good in the air for some reason I don't know why that's probably because of that 73 heading but next we have Russell right back 88 pace this guy's a trooper I'm not going to lie, 88 pace, 70 defending, and he's not like your regular right backs, he's big and bulky, and he literally is a fast motherfucker, um, I've played with him quite a lot, and he keeps up with everyone, really, like, if anyone's storming that left wing, they're not going anywhere, and normally the left wing's where people have their best players, such as, like, Lavezzi or anyone, or Cristiano Ronaldo, if you're lucky enough to have him. The next we have Ricketts, probably the one of the, like the best silver keeper in my opinion that is not in form. 72 rated, 85 kicking, so and he has amazing throws. He can throw that ball just up to that halfway line. 73 diving, 79 reflexes. Now they aren't the best of stats. They're really good, but I mean you can get much better stats for silvers. Like you can get the in form silver goalkeeper that has like 80, 80 diving, 85 reflexes. But I think Ricketts is the best silver keeper. Without a doubt, look how tall he is, guys. He's about six foot four, six. I think he's about six foot five. And he gets to anything. Like he might concede a couple of goals, but trust me, he will save the majority of them. Um, I was playing with Romanda before. He's five foot ten. And then one of my friends told me to switch to Ricketts. As when I switched to Ricketts, Ricketts just literally done it for me every time. As you can see. Um, Cami does have a very sweaty bench to come up against those low rated teams you know he's just doing it for a laugh really because it's kind of funny you know you get those hate messages like oh my god he's got a sweat bench blah 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 but you know it's FIFA and personally I think Opara is the best player on the bench um, I think he should definitely be in the team personally I don't I, this centre back is really good but Opara is the best silver centre back in my opinion because he's tall he has 81 pace and 78 heading and you don't really get that for silver centre backs you rarely get that for gold players that are tall and really fast but yeah that is the squad review i hope you have enjoyed it and you know leave any criticism i know i might sound a bit dull and slurry and all my words are slurred but that's one main reason because i've got a massive hangover and my head's killing but Still got the video out, just fun to do. But yeah, have a nice time today, guys. You know, it's Saturday. Hopefully you're going out and you're pulling those girls and having fun. Or if you're sitting in and playing.